Welcome friends to Farm Fresh Designs 59. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you to my returning subscribers. So today I am part of a sunflower showcase. If you will check below in the description box, I'll have a list of all the amazing creators that you can make sure to watch and see what they do with sunflower images. So my first project is an old box that I have had forever and I've just used it for different things. And it had some writing on it. It said hardware at some point on it. And so I decided to go ahead and put Dixie Belle Boss on it because I wanted to make sure that none of that stain would bleed through. And I painted it with two coats of DIY Farm Fresh. Now I'm using the IOD Sunflower Mold. And now this is not part of the new release, but Decoupage Central has these in stock, as well as a lot of rice papers with sunflowers. So if you've not used a mold before, it's important to put cornstarch in your mold and then you um, put your clay in. I use DOS air dry clay and the IOD molds have a micro rim around it. So you just push that clay right up to the edge of that rim. And then I like to go back afterwards with an old credit card and smooth out the back of it. Now this mold does take a lot of clay, but I'm going to get my money's worth. So this box is very shallow. So once I get it all pulled out of my mold, I just use that old credit card and I use it to cut that mold in half. I put it on with tight bond glue and I just gently press down on it to get those edges down. And then I will be putting the other on the other part of that sunflower on the other side of that box. Now, because I'm a little impatient, I needed that first mold to set up and not like slide off because of the glue. So you'll notice that I use painter's tape to just gently lay it down because the type on glue sets up fairly fast. And also remember, even if a mold is really large, you never have to use all of it. Think outside the box. Think how can you use that mold in a different way? And I just think about maybe if you were going to be doing like a sunrise, you could just push the clay down on that mold and make it look more like a sun. I just think that would be really neat. That just kind of popped in my head. And so I just put it right at the edge of the bottom. Now I'm going to be making more pieces in that sunflower mold. And then that little piece I've already made up, and that's like the little enclosed sunflower. And then I'm going to make the little leaf that goes along with it. But I will only be making it for one side of the box. Now, this is another piece of that mold that I thought I was going to use, and I ended up not using it. So if that happens with you, just kind of pull it out and put it back in the bag. And then if you um, like need to, it to be moist again, just you can put like a wet paper towel or just a damp paper towel, not anything very wet. Now, I like to go ahead and paint my molds after they've set out just a bit. I think it reduces cracking a lot. So what I'm using to start with is Dixie Belle Rebel Yellow. And I know it looks a little bit darker in the, in the picture, but it is a lot lighter um, once you see it up close. But I'm also going to be darkening it up later. And then I paint that little sunflower bud with the same Rebel Yellow. And then that little leaf, I use Dixie Belle English Ivy. And it's sort of a darker green. I didn't want like a spring green because I think more of a darker green when I think about sunflowers. And it's kind of tricky to paint these molds, but just make sure that you use like really soft bristles and I'll use like a small point on the brush so that I don't mess up. And for the inside of that sunflower, I use Waverly's Truffle Chalk Paint. Now, once I finished it up, I thought um, I needed to do just a little bit more. So I pulled out Dixie Belle Kernel Mustard and I very gently dry brushed that on, starting from the center of the sunflower out toward the outside of the sunflower 
because as I was looking at some different pictures on Pinterest, I noticed that it needed to be just a little bit darker toward that center. Now, I want to put dark wax on eventually, but I always start with clear wax, and I use Dixie Belle Clear Wax, and now that one actually brings out the color on that Debbie's DIY paint. And so I let it set up for a pretty good while, and then I'm going to be going back with Dixie Belle Brown Wax. And if you've not used wax before, I think it's extremely important to put on a clear coat of wax, and then you put on the dark wax. So if the dark wax is too dark, you can wipe it off, and you can even use clear wax to pull out some of that darkness. But if you start with a dark wax and you don't like it, um, you're going to have a really difficult time getting it off. So for me, I like to take that extra precaution and go ahead and put the clear wax on first. Now, I just do little sections at a time because if that dark wax sets on it too long, once again, it will be harder for it to come off. And I use just those old white shop towels that I get at Home Depot to use. You can also use paper towels, but I've done a lot of refinishing furniture and I've just been accustomed to using those shop towels because paper towels are going to leave some lint behind. And then once I put that dark wax on that sunflower, it really, really makes all of those details just pop out. And look at this. This is one side of it. Isn't that just beautiful? And I'm really glad that I put that mustard yellow in it because I just think it added so much to that box. And this could be a box that you could have sitting out on your counter and throw your keys in or your change. And this is the other side of the box. So, what do you think? Do you like this color combination together? I thought it would be just a little bit different. So, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that and become part of our family. Now, my next project is so simple. I made another one of the sunflowers with my DOS air dry clay. And then I'm putting tight bond glue on it. And I like to use that little silicone stick because I do not like glue on my fingers at all. Now, this little tissue box is something that I've had for quite some time. And I took it outside and I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint because I still wanted that brown to kind of come through a little bit. And then I put that sunflower and I leave just a little bit hanging over so you can see the sunflower on the other side. And that's one thing I like to do is I like to, you know, put the molds on the different sides of it so that when people walk up and see that, they're not going to maybe not look straight on at that tissue box, but that pop of color on the side is going to draw attention to that. And I just, I like using molds in different sorts of way. So if you've not visited my channel before, some of you may be new because of the Sunflower Showcase. Go back and watch some of my old videos. I tend to be um, a little non-traditional at times. So once again, I paint the outside of the Sunflower with Dixie Belle Rebel Yellow. And I'm going to paint the inside circle with the truffle. And then I'm going to go back with that, um, it's called Colonel Mustard Yellow, to kind of fade out from the center out toward the edges of that sunflower. Now, sometimes if you're going to be like me and you're going to want to go ahead and paint that air dry clay before it sets up all the way, just know that especially when you're using color, you're going to get it all painted and you're going to look at it dry and you're going to think, oh my goodness, I missed a little spot. So watch out for that, but it's just super easy to get these things painted. And if you'll notice that kernel mustard, it is such a dark color, but I'll just use just a tiny bit of it. And then I'm going to go back and do the clear wax and the dark wax on top of that. So it does tone it down a little bit. And then that dark wax really, really brings out the color of, and brings out all the details of that. And I just love the way they turned out. And here's what it looks like once it's all finished. Isn't that just beautiful? 
How pretty would that be sitting in your kitchen, you know, especially in the spring? And this could be something that could even go into the fall. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to do a sunflower project that is in more neutral tones. And so if you're not a big fan of these bright yellow colors, this is going to be one for you. So on this, this is just an old box. It was, I th it was a sign or something I thrifted, and I'm using the inside of it. And I'm using Dixie Belle French linen. Now, I've had it painted for quite some time, and I had some nicks in it. So I decided to go back and put another paint layer of paint on it. Now, this is rice paper from Decoupage Central. And so what I'm using is Pent Art Decoupage Varnish and Glue. And I just brush on just a little bit. And then I'm going to push that rice paper down. And then I will pull it back up. And I'll just do just a little bit more and a little bit more. And kind of work my way down to the end. Now, one of the secrets is with rice paper is if you'll just grab some little piece of cellophane and just rub over it very gently, that smooths out any wrinkles that you might have. Now, I'll let that um, glue set up really good, and then I go back with an X-Acto knife and cut off the trim. So, here is our neutral project. So, once again, I use the Doss Air Dry Clay in the sunflower mold, and I'm going to be using the entire sunflower this time. Now, this is the part that I think I thought I messed up, but I made it work. So that is a stencil that I got off of Amazon. And if I wanted to have like a little beehive because I'm going to be putting some bee molds on it. So I started out thinking I could use maybe some gray and some yellow like chalk paste. And for some reason in my head, I thought that that would be the color of like a beehive. Uh, wrong. It turned out to be this weird, yucky green, but I fixed it once it was dry. But there for a little bit, I thought, oh my goodness, I have really messed up this time. And then down in the right-hand corner, once again, I did one of those little closed-up sunflower buds. Now I'm using the IOD Laurel Mold because I want to make a couple of little bees. And this first one I'm going to be putting it on the big sunflower because I want to kind of like roll it over onto that sunflower. Now, that little bee over to the right on the table is actually something that I had in my stash, and it was one of the little bee molds, and it was made out of resin. And I'm going to be using that to put on top of that beehive. So I had to get rid of that yucky color green. So I took a small brush, and I went back. And I believe I used Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream. I didn't want anything that was really stark white. And then I dabbed it on all those little circles from the beehive and got rid of that green. But there for a little bit, I thought, mm, I have truly messed up on this one. So if you look real close, you can see just a little bit of that green around the edges. But I got it covered enough. So you probably wouldn't like stop and think about it now. And all of those sunflowers I paint with Rust-Oleum Chiffon Cream. Now, because this little resin mold is not going to be kind of rolling over into anything, I can just glue it straight on. Now, this is a transfer, and goodness gracious, I cannot remember what set it came from. But I wanted something right in the middle, and it's just a little emblem, and it's like a little laurel mold that goes around either side. And I had to kind of cut it up a little bit to make it fit into that space. But I just wanted something extra to put in it. And that is the little laurel wreath that's going to go around it. And I had to trim it a lot. So when you use a transfer, make sure to seal your project first with like a clear sealer. Let it dry. And then when you put the transfer on, if you're putting it on top of paint, if you've sealed it, then you're going to be fine. But if you do not seal it, a lot of times it's going to pull the paint up. But I went on and sprayed this with clear sealer, even though I'm putting it on rice paper, just for that added precaution. And then I use my little transfer stick and rub it all over it. And then the little plastic sheet that you pull off, then you go back and you rub that over the transfer, and that's called burnishing it. And basically, it just gets that little transfer onto your project, 
and you don't have any little spots that maybe you miss that might be pulling up. Now, one thing that I forgot to record was I went back over the, all of those pieces with Dixie Belle Voodoo Gel Stain in the natural color. But I had put it all over all those pieces, and then I noticed, I think thought that the beads needed just a little bit more to kind of make them stand out. And so I did those with Dixie Belle Voodoo Gel Stain in Tobacco Road. And there's the final piece. And it's just rustic, but it gives you those more fall vibes. So, you know, sunflowers don't just have to be in the spring. And this is a picture, or this project was not on the thumbnail. So I hope you enjoyed this one as well. Now, my last project today is a piece of decoupage paper from Decoupage Central. And this one, it comes two per sheet, and it's got a lot of the sunflowers on it. And I'm going to be putting it on an old piece of barn wood. Now, I'm going to put some words on it. And this is the IOD Harper mold, which is the lowercase alphabet. And because they're really tiny, I don't typically use air dry clay on them. I use hot glue gun. And the glue gun has to be at least 100 temperatures to make it flow really easy. Now, I learned this trick from Victoria Conhurst on Facebook. And she takes that painter's tape and lays the sticky side down and then kind of tapes it off on the end. And then that way, it makes it easy to get all of that painted. And then I went over the edges of that paper with just some ink to kind of rustic it up. And then I glued the words sunny days on the barn wood. And once again, when I use my decoupage paper, I glue on just a little bit, pull it up, do just a little bit more and a little bit more. And it just makes it so much easier. And if you don't use the pen art, use Mod Podge or DIY liquid patina, whatever works best for you. Okay, now I'm going to be making some resin. This is amazing casting resin, two parts, A and B. The first part is clear, the second part is yellow. Mix it one to one ratio, and you stir it up and it gets cloudy, and then you're going to be pouring it into the molds, and it sets up in 10 minutes, and it's awesome. Now, I always make just a little bit more, and I don't want to waste it because it's not cheap. I get mine at Hobby Lobby. You can also order it at Amazon, but I always have extra molds kind of here and there that I can pour that excess into, and then I just have a box in my craft room with all my little extra molds. That way, you know, it's something to grab easy real quick if I need a mold. So I'm making three butterflies from the IOD Monarch mold. And then I just use a little bit here and a little bit there. And then once again, I'm going to take those little butterflies and put them on that sticky side of painter's tape and it's taped down on the edges. And I'm going to paint them with Dixie Belle Rebel Yellow. And then I toned it down by putting a little black stripe right down the center of that butterfly. But it just keeps you from getting paint all over your fingers. And then I put those resin molds onto that barn wood. And I'm just, I, I'm really fortunate. Um, I have a lot of barn wood at my house right now. My father-in-law passed away two years ago, and we were so lucky to be able to get so much of that old wood on his barn because the barn was going to be torn down. And then I put them on with tight bond thick and quick. Now, you may say, but Myra, why did you use resin on the butterflies? Well, because I had an, a different idea, and then I changed my mind. Then I noticed that the letters on that sunny days, with them being painted black, it was just too, too much. So I decided to dry brush over them with that Dixie Belle Rele Rebel Yellow, but I didn't paint the sides of them. So it gave it more of a dimensional aspect, so... The sides of those letters are painted black, and then just the very top is painted with the Rebel Yellow. And then, because I wanted this to hang for this video, I just took some of that old rope that you can get at the Dollar Tree, and I stapled it to the back side of this sign, and I just love it. And if you don't want to hang it, you know, this could even be a shelf sitter. But Decoupage Central has the most amazing decoupage paper, so... 
I'm going to make sure to link, put my affiliate link in the description box below. And if you would like any of these products, go to that link and you'll be able to get what you need. And here's all of my pieces today. So in the comments below today, tell me which one is your favorite. I'm not real sure. I like all of them and I like them all for different reasons. But I've been doing a lot of sunflower projects in some recent videos. So make sure to go back to those if you are a real fan of sunflowers. And make sure to go and watch all of the other creators today who are participating in this sunflower showcase. But all of us are affiliates for Decoupage Central. And we decided to have a special day, especially as you're waiting on your IOD products that you ordered yesterday. You need something to do until all those products come in. So once again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel and become part of our family. And turn on the notifications button so you'll be notified when I post my new video. Have a wonderful day.